Sam, it looks like you're uh, limping a little bit. How's the leg? Can you give us a little update? Uh... Yeah, the, the leg's okay. I kind of had to tough it out. Uh, the first round, he kicked me uh, kind of met shin to shin. I got this pineapple coming out of my leg now. Uh, uh, hematoma, and they want to get it checked out um, to see if there's a hairline fracture or something. So uh, that took a little uh, pep out of my step, and uh, you know, and sitting down on the punches, so I just had to go to plan B and grapple with him. So um, you know, it's not what we trained for, but it's what I had to do. And uh, you know, well, we trained to win, so I, and I had to find a way to win, and um, got it. So that's the most important to me. How frustrating is that for you that you know you couldn't implement the game plan but, but you wanted to explain? Yeah, you know, and I was training for you know Du Ho Choi and um, who is a pure stand-up guy and then I kinda got switched to to a guy that goes down to the lab and, and, and trains with Benson and all those guys and um, and that's really why I believe Yachty was so good at surviving everything is because he survives with Ben and all those guys and they attack him and he's good at that. He's good at, hey, I, I damn near had about five guillotines, I feel like, so um, they were close. And then he had one of his own in the end and, uh, you know, he's, he's a strong, he's a tough guy, but, uh, you know, I've um, found a way to win and, that, and that's all that matters to me, so given, you know, I'm always searching to be the human highlight reel and it, I'm kind of beating myself up because it didn't end up that way, but you know it's better than this win-lose bullshit. So, oh, you know, I got my another win. Haven't fought since January. I do better when I compete more. So I'd like to, you know, let my leg heal up and, and fight again pretty soon. So. You, you mentioned sitting down on your punches. Um, there's a fine line between sitting down on your punches and in kind of sitting down too much would allow you to be taken down. Just talk about, you know. Throwing strikes, but also making sure that you're not sitting down too much so you can't sprawl. Right, like I don't want to just stand square in front of him and like Frankenstein, you know, I'm angling off and really putting some snap in your punches and then, you know, to the next angle and, you know, stick and move, but eventually you, you step into one and, and put him out. And I really couldn't step into anything, so I was just kind of on my back foot and still trying to chase him down that way. And it just feels awkward, but it's just kind of how I got to antagonize guy or hunt him down. So I was hunting him down, I just felt awkward, I was whatever, you know. Uh, you know, and, and I knew he wanted to shoot, you know, he, and that's always the game plan, start chucking and turn, turn them all into wrestlers and then, you know, and then win that. So, uh, you know, yeah, obviously not stand in front of him, but angle off, step into one and crack him and then angle off, you know, fake shots. And then after that happened, I, I could feel it, you know, I just, Resist. I felt really flat-footed after that. You mentioned the guillotines. You had some. He had uh, one pretty deep. It, uh -huh. Talk us through what was going through your mind when you were caught in that choke. I actually had a really big decision right then because um, I all my shoulder pressure up and I had to get down and he had a closed guard. So I was like, I'm either going to go out or I'm going to have BA the whole world and uh, push out. And my pants came down a little bit, but it was a decision I was willing to move the whole world. So. Um, it worked out, you know, we practiced getting that angle out of there, but I was like, I'm really going to do this, so I'm lucky that, you know, all the layers didn't come off, because uh, they're really high quality Reebok shorts is why they didn't, so. <laughs> While you're on the Reebok shorts, how do you feel about the deal? Obviously, you know, it's the second week that uh, the gear has been in place. Uh, how do you feel? Is it financially rewarding for you? Or? Yeah, you know, I like having, you know, we get here, we got lockers, we got our game day jerseys. Um, for me, it's good. This is my ninth fight, so the next one I go to ten, and uh, I like them. They look slick, and, and I don't. I like honestly. My biggest thing is I don't like worrying about getting sponsors or or when my shorts gonna show up. It's, it's pretty rad just to have them here and go suit up like any other sport. And uh, financially, you know, I'm at the next level and uh, pretty soon another fight, and then. Uh, you know, I like getting all this new gear and, and bringing uh, my corners in. We have a young, hungry guy I brought in. He gets all this Reebok gear, so he feels like it's Christmas. Um, it's a cool deal they're doing for us. Um, obviously, you want to be at that contender spot or champion spot where you're getting the money, the big money. But um, but you know what you're getting into. Uh, 
you know, stability in a pretty unstable sport, you know, as far as sponsor wise, you never know what you're going to get, but now you, you have money you can count on and you know you're going to get, and I, I very much appreciate that. A lot of people have their mindset in the gym, oh, just check the kicks, check the, but when it actually comes bone to bone, <laughs> yeah. how did you say, I'm still going to use this leg, and a lot of people would have, I'm just going to go home. Yeah, um, yeah, I checked it wrong is why it, yeah, uh, was as bad as it was. I didn't make it worse, but I was just gonna start stepping into those because if he can kick me there, I can hit him. Um, but you know, I got. I, uh, he just, he just did, you know, honestly, just tip of a hat to him because he did time that well, like right when I was planning on it, he kicked it, and you know that could have went the other way. He could have timed that wrong, and I would have slept him. So uh, give him that, and. Uh, you know, I have to limp around for a couple of days, but it hurts way worse if you lose, so um, it doesn't hurt that bad now. So. And everyone wins something, loses something, learns something to fight. Going into your 10th fight, did you just learn, I can fight on one leg, or what would you say you learned going forward? Yeah, a couple of things. You know, that guillotine in this. It's just, I have a, you know, more of a will to win, and, uh, you know, where before it was really putting it all together, where I was like, I get sold as a knockout guy, and I'm like, that's the role I'm gonna play. So I'm like, if I don't knock him out, I felt out of my element. And even though I can grapple, because so I'm like, I wanna be the guy that people wanna see knock people out. And today, you know, I wasn't that for the fans, but I got a win. You know, so I get to, you know, next time come back and sleep somebody. So more of it was, it's more important to win than uh, be, you know, play the brand you were given. So. Is it hard when you get put into that corner where everyone's like, oh, he's gonna knock me out, so they know exactly if he comes swinging, I'll just pull guard. Yeah, exactly, because I know that that's my, you know, what everybody trains for, circle away from the right hand, all that. Um, you know, but I can do many other things, you know, and then eventually you come out of a scramble, stay on him, and still hit him with that right hand. But the biggest thing for me is putting it all together, and I think I got a step closer to that today by grappling so much. So.